Hello my friends, my name is Steve Maneev with Steve Maneev Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, or share my knowledge on anything boating. Today we're going to get into the news and let's see what we got here. Okay, so the marine industry had a better day than yesterday. Uh, we're at like 50-50. Um, Caterpillar, Suzuki, Garmin, Volvo, um, and marine products were in the green today so that's really nice let's see how that looks on monday okay so let's go to the news the news there's a lot of articles today okay so we left off here yesterday let's do it um so here we got uncharted waters troubled waters so uh, this guy talks about um, uh, even on joystick, even on joystick equipped crafts. It's wise to keep those old school boat handling uh, techniques close at hand. He's really right. Like if you're if you were just introduced to boating with let's say joystick and you don't know how to drive a traditional you know throttle um, and, and dock that's a little concerning it's okay but you should know like if you're just buying a boat now and it just has a joystick and you're relying on that um, you might want to get some training the other way and that's not what this is about this is even more L look at the picture <laughs> it's a boat about to crash into the dock so I'm sure that's uh, enjoyable that article uh, let's move on so ooh, a test so this article is about there's Jimi Hendrix again uh, invincible that's the author um, invincible 35 catamaran so the catamaran um, ha catamarans when you think of catamaran you think of like sailing but in the last I don't know five six seven years um, the center consoles have been um, taking them on and um, Invincible is one that does it really well so check them out they talk about it this is the boat that they're talking about um, this is their website if you go to it you can read up about it and see the it's a nice layout and look Invincible is cool I love their logo <laughs> um, they are they make their boats pretty strong um, they've got a reputation and were they just bought out less than a year ago yeah I think so okay so let's keep moving on oh wait no I got something I got a video let's watch the video it's it's like less than a minute let me get at it eh, I'll stay in, I'll stay in the shot Constantly Ooh. evolving, constantly pushing for the best. Always two steps ahead. Always. With innovative hull designs and cutting edge features, Invincible is focused on building one thing. That dive door swings out. Okay. The fastest, driest, and best riding open fisherman on the water. The new 35-foot powered catamaran is built to tear through seas in any direction, providing maximum maneuverability at all speeds. People always say that catamarans don't have good handling because you can't turn them like a traditional V. Um, but you should try these boats out. They handle really well. They handle really, really well. So, you know, you can argue that. And look at that. Um, this is a 35. With so you don't have to quads. slow down until you want Four to. Outboard. Superior sea keeping ability. So high performance aerodynamics. That's, that's gonna be a fast ride. boat. Make this one serious seaworthy machine. What's he got on there? One ride 300s? is all it takes to experience are those the three, Are those this V8 300? Uh, okay, so. Oops that's it so that's that look them up go ride one go ride one you're gonna like it 
Maryland restricts recreational boating activities to fight coronavirus spread. There's an article that. Uh, there's an article on that. The other day I did a video on Palm Beach banning boating. Check that video out. Um, this guy is rewriting it. Uh, we already went through this boat on another video. We went over this article on another video. Somebody's rewriting the... All, if something comes out in the press, people, magazines write about it. You guys know that. Um, so this one uh, is a couple of days later. So is this one. Okay, accessories to upgrade your boat. Um, that's an article about accessories to upgrade your boat. Okay, Pair Marine 24. So um, this used to be called Sea Ox. And so this guy, Brian Pear, which is his last name, uh, began building boats in 2015. He got his start under the company name Sea Ox, but recently rebranded. Rebranding is, is tough. It's tough. But uh, if you do it right, um, it works out. Uh, with a name that's a little closer to home, Pear Marine, his last name. Um, so you can read about that. Garmin. Um, Quadics, I, I, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Six smartwatch. So um, they just launched this. This is an article about that. Um, what is this? Okay, that's something else. Um, here's the website. It's six hundred ninety-nine dollars. It is. Um, I've I started seeing them more and more uh, with captains. They do a lot. There's a video here that, let's just watch it real quick. Uh, so, okay, connectivity. I'm assuming, yeah, look. Compatible with Gar Garmin chart plotters and other devices. But let's, tell me what it does, tell me what it does, let's see. Includes, let me get out of your way. Includes fusion. Oh, okay, because that's the stereo. So you can control your stereo fusion with it. Manages your vessel with autopilot. Okay. Streams data. The depth. Temperature and wind. Mm. Location. Chart plotter location part. Uh, improves arrays. Okay. Blue chart, G3 coastal charts, and some other maps. We don't need that on the water. What else? Is that it? So they've got different, different styles. Okay, you get it. You're welcome, Garmin. Okay, next. Um, ooh, two magazines wrote about the Garmin. So we'll skip that article, but you can go see them. Hmm, let's see. May the best writer win. Okay, uh, Navico Inc. Coast Guard. Navico Inc.'s Coast Guard deal through. 2025 what did they do they are the parent company uh, to a, a bunch of brands that you guys know I went on their site where are they well anyways they announced today that it signed a five-year agreement with the United States Coast Guard to provide sea map cartography under the USCG small boat small boat product line um, Wow that's a nice contract. So these are the brands. I'm sure you've known you know a couple. So they got a nice deal with the government. Wow. Okay, that's their website if you want to go to that. Let's move it along. Newport International Boat Show sets dates for 50th gathering okay so they moved their boat show to september 17th 
through the 20th of 2020. Um, so read about that. If you're in Newport and you like to go to that boat show, they have moved it. Okay. Northwest Sports Show launches a virtual show today. So they were going to have a, uh, I guess, a real show. You can read about that. And they partnered with TRMG, NMMA's show guide producer. Okay, so that's, I keep going there. there. Um, this is them. So if you go to their website, that's them. They have a virtual uh, show. I don't know much more about it, but you can go in and I'm sure you'll be able to catch up. I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's like timed. I don't think it's a specific time. Let's move it along. Suzuki to build new US Marine Technical Center. Wow, okay, so where are they gonna build it? They're gonna build it in a 20 acre waterfront property in Panama City, Florida. Nice. You can read up on that. Suzuki, you know, good, good. Because look, everybody loves Mercury and everybody loves Yamaha. And poor Suzuki is always behind. But you know what? They are really good engines. And don't let anybody tell you they're not. The only issue with them is that um, for resale, it's a little bit less favorable. But Suzuki, start marketing and branding yourself better. Uh, a little bit more hip and you'll be able to do it. I know it. Um, you've got the tech. You've got, you've got the years behind you. You can do it. You can take market share. Um, make those cowlings a little bit sexier. You can do it. Okay. Um, NMMA releases January Powerboat registration data. Okay, so they have released it. So look, continues monitoring. Okay, so they continue monitoring impacts of the coronavirus on the recreational boating industry. We are continuing to share monthly powerboat sales data as available. That is great. And if you go here to their site, NMMA. It's hard for me to say that. I don't know why. Uh, org, you will be able to access the data. So now if I click on that, you got to register. But I don't know if it's costing you money. But anyways, it's possible. So voters out there, you, I don't think you guys care. But um, a lot of the brokers um, or dealers do. So that might that might uh, that might work. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can register, and maybe uh, I'll I'll talk about it when I get it. I just didn't know I had to register. And actually, this is not just a regular register. I, if you click that, it'll, it set, ha, you have to send an email to a certain email, and then they have to kind of approve you. So um, it's not like I could have done it. I'll do it later. OK. Tig? Am I pronouncing that right? Tig Boats joins the fight against coronavirus. Uh, they announced today that they will begin producing personal protective equipment. So I, I'm sure you guys have heard that a lot of these companies that have nothing to do with um, masks and gloves um, are starting to produce them here in the United States to help out, um, to continue to pay their employees and you know um, keep business open, really. So read that article. They're doing that. That's nice of them. And that's smart of them, too. Okay. Bertram, you guys know Bertram. I I need to go on their site real quick, which I didn't. Let's do that. Did I spell them wrong again? <laughs> okay. Why? Why Bertram? Why? Why don't you have the center console here? You have a full line of center consoles and you don't even have uh, a link to them. 
I mean, at least Tierra splits their uh, splits their um, sports. They have like two websites, but it's really one, and then you go into one, and um, Tierra does it, but at least you can link to it. You, you're not linking to it. Come on. Look. Oh, is this it? No, it's not it. It's not it. What happened? You guys got to be ready. Anyways, um, I like Bertram. I've had their ups and downs, but I like Bertram. So, where was I? Why, why did I say that? I say that because they're introducing a new center console. Look, Bertram 39 center console with its new line of center consoles. The story, story builder embraces a new category. Yeah, but not for the first time. I, I just don't understand. They're introducing a boat and and it's not even on their site like if you google bertram 39 you're gonna get their website and they're not on it's a little weird for me am, am i missing something am i missing something no they've got a 35 they just don't show the 35 center console here. I gotta like call them up. I'm gonna I'm gonna write to them. I'm gonna write to them. Okay. Um, so the screen's a little cut off, but so I get you guys get it. Um, so anyways, but luckily I was able to find a video that they did. So this is it. And luckily, you got me to show it. <laughs> so, um, triple engines, it's a 39, 39s, 38s, 40s, usually have triple engines unless they're the lighter power boats. But this type of boat is three engines. Um, I'm wondering if it's just Mercury that they're putting on their boats or do they got contracts with all the other outboard brands um, it looks nice it looks nice and just like everybody else they're doing center consoles I mean center consoles and pontoons were the only real um, uh, highest selling uh, market like uh, model or what would you call it uh, sector like bow riders and um, and uh, and uh, like sport fishing, uh, motor yachts, all those, they, their sales were a lot less. But center consoles and pontoon boats, they were doing great. Um, so everybody kind of jumped on it like a few years ago. So this is nice. I did a, I did a, a cigarette, uh, the Tirana. The 59 video yesterday and I said wow for a 59 foot boat it has four seats that's great like that's normal that seems normal for a 39 I've never really seen four seats it's usually two or three really um, this this one put four so that's interesting I wonder if it's just the rendering or if it's actually gonna have four um, Nice glass enclosure here. Hard top. It's a T-top. It's a T-top. It doesn't come to the gunnel. You can fish all around. It's got rear facing seats. It's taking us inside. So let's stop there. Look, this is a nice layout. Um, this is a nice layout. And usually because of the height on the bottom uh, because of the front uh, seating you have to reduce the the um, the headroom and so they were able to just put a full um, full full bed down there and they did it right I wonder how long that I wonder how long that is so 
Like, can a six foot guy lay there? Okay, but they made it modern. It looks nice. Um, yeah, I like it. The design is nice. They were able to, they br so look, they brought out the sink. So all, all you have in that door is the shower and then you have the toilet kind of like, there's like a, there's like a, like a cover over it. You'll see it in a minute. But they separated the, um, the, the faucet so to kind of condense to, to save room. So some would argue, whoa, that's not sanitary. I got to open the door. The door's always going to be contaminated. So I've heard that argument. But also, I think there's more upside than the sanitary thing um, because you have, you have your saving space. Um, that's used for, for um, like, for if you're preparing a meal or something, you can use the same faucet, although that's another sanitary issue but overall it's nice um, let's keep it going is that the uh, oh, you can't see my pointer um, next is that the is that the paper towel or um, the, the, t the the towel rack above the bed that might get wet. Uh, hmm. Okay. Look, overall, it's a nice, it's nice, and I'm I'm never really gonna say what I don't like. If you want to DM me, you can. Um, I'm just gonna say positive stuff. But overall, I like it. It's a nice boat. It's got nice lines. Um, I wonder how much it is. Okay. Let's keep it going. We're almost done. Got two more. Uh, this is about a uh, Reverend Dennis Woodward. Um, and he's the last chaplain visiting quarantine ships. So if you want to learn about that, you can... Um, and then uh, this uh, seafood wholesaler creates a pop-up fish shop. So that's cool. Uh, the oldest commercial fishing harbor in Massachusetts. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So basically he set up this, uh, this little shop. And there's an article about that. Okay, let's wrap this up. My name is Steve Muneev with Steve Muneev Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, or share my knowledge on anything boating. Thank you again. Um, I'll be doing more news every day. You can always connect with me through phone, email, or any of my social media channels. I'll see you on the water. Hold on. The button's not working. Hmm. The button is not working. The button's not working. There we go. You've earned it. <laughs> what was that? Why isn't the button working? Uh, we'll have to fix it.